Queen de eh, Review. Public test. Ok. Uh, I remember que we are doing this. Eh, problem, ¿no? The last problem que we did was number four. No, number five. Now number six. Number six is eh, Y equal to ter x plus five. Uh -huh. yeah, I need to solve for x. Semicolon x is the variable. Okay, I need to, to solve. Good morning, good morning. We start, we start. Okay, so let's do it. You subtract the phi, so y minus phi is equal to ter x, no? Uh -huh. Now, multiplication by the reciprocal. What is the reciprocal to ter? The reciprocal is 3 over 2. So you multiply both sides, both sides, by 3 over 2. So you have 3 over 2, parenthesis, y minus 5. No? Do you see the whiteboard or no? Okay, I'll... Sorry. Let me share one more. Okay, whiteboard, whiteboard. Okay. Now you see no more. You see, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me start at the beginning. <laughs> So we continue doing the review. Now example number six, que is uh, y equal two over three plus five, and you solve for x. Uh, well, <coughs> this is my x here, I forgot. So you subtract the five. Uh, in order to isolate, you multiply by reciprocal. What is the reciprocal? Two thirds is three half. Multiplication both sides by the reciprocal. By the same number, no? In this case, reciprocal. Three over two, parenthesis, y minus five is equal to x because two thirds times three over two is obvio que Juan. Y Juan is invisible factor. Leave it like that. You can. You can. Another possibility is you apply distributive property. Mm -hmm. so you have 3 half y minus 15 half equal x. It's another possibility to express the final answer without parentheses or with parentheses. It doesn't matter. Any question? Super. Okay. Just moving on to the number seven. Okay. I'm doing fast because I suppose that you know, I review, no? Uh -huh. Let's move on to the second page of the review package. This is the review package. Okay, second page. Okay, easy. Okay, the first one say <clears throat> B is equal to one third pi r square h you need to solve for h semicolon h okay okay you remove everything this everything so now you can multiplication by receiver what is the receiver at this guy three over one what are the at this one over pi what are the receiver at this one over r square in conclusion is three in the top three times one times one one times pi times r square is pi r it's a noise. I mean, who make a noise? Uh, Rances? No. Rances, no. Okay. So now, if you multiply both sides by this number, is 3b over pi r square uh -huh, equal when you multiply this. Time this is obvious as one because it's, it's reciprocal, because it's h. Okay, another possibility, another possibility to face that problem is apply like a cross multiplication, no? 
you consider, for example, volume is equal to volume, yeah. Is pi r square h over 3, no? It is the same, one third divided by 3. And you apply like a cross multiplication, like that, boom and boom. So when you apply cross multiplication, b is divided by pi r square uh -huh, and 3 multiply here, 3. So you transfer, no? so you move multiplication in that direction and division in that direction. And you will get exactly the same answer. Either way, guys, to analyze. Reciprocal or, or, okay, now this is easy. So for y, it's a long expression, but I don't care. You will remove the parentheses, it's 2x minus 6 plus 3y is equal 5y minus 6 minus, minus no plus, negative, negative, positive 10x. Okay, my goal is isolate the y, therefore I propose, for example, move every expression that contain y to the left. So, for example, this is 10 here, but it's not. I change to the left, uh -huh, like a minus, and so now the rest I move to the right, this is stay. Stay, this no is a minus two and plus six. I'm ready to combine later. Okay, this is negative two. Why? This six and this six is cancel out at zero. And this is eight. Ten minus two. Bar by negative two. Because my goal is isolate the y. Y alone is equal to negative four x. Finance. Everyone follow me or no? They can, let me check it now attendance. Oh, now, okay, okay, okay. You are today a little bit late. Uh, Chairman, Frances, Brian, please. Um, before we get on to it, I know it's unrelated, but the, um, I've um last night I sent you my um my completed test. Uh huh. Paper test, and I've, I've, I've bought up on it. I actually, sent, I've actually sent two emails contain one it's, containing no sorry. attachment, and then one containing the wrong attachment. The uh, third email is what you should be um looking at that has the um, completed test. Right. Because I yeah. made mistakes, so you you might want to disregard the first two. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. I check in. I check in both. Yeah, I take the best option. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Just in case, if you want, uh, send me another email with the. Is it? This is the last version, professor. Because you anticipate too much. What was that again, sir? No, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. I take the best option. Don't worry, young man. You are good. Okay. Okay. Now let's continue, guys. Uh, let's wait. move. Wait. 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 But don't interrupt me with the particular situation. Particular situation. If you want, email me. This is mathematical. The thing you don't understand in mathematical, let me know now. Okay. Yeah, mean You have another question? No. No. No questions nice. other than I missed out on that um other um okay. that second um thing you just did. Okay. That second um example. Example one. No, I'm talking about the one that you just recently did. Okay, okay. Okay, just uh, let's continue now. Look, this is the next page of the review package. This is super easy. This is look. Graph the expression and write in the band of dish. Okay, let's do it. Number one, number one is phi. Uh -huh. Number one is phi. Is x greater than phi? One, two, three, four, phi. Phi is here. I guess so. One, two, three, four, phi. It's a phi. Okay, and greater than is in what direction? One well, to the right, like that. Include a phi? Uh, no. No include five. So you indicate this using the 
mm, parentheses. O sea, from phi, actually, let me highlight correctly. From phi to this. Uh, number two is similar, is seven. Wow. This is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven. Positive seven. And greater than or equal to six. Let me use it again in color to the right. But in this case, bracket, because we have equal sign here. That's me can include seven inside the interval. Okay, number three is six. Six is, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six here, but in this case to the left, because is less than. Okay, this continue forever, forever here. And of course, the solution do not include six, because I don't see equal sign. Mm -hmm. Negative two. Negative two and negative one, negative two. Here, negative two. Again to the left because it's less than to the left. Okay. Highlight that part. Include negative two. Of course, yes, because it's equal sign. Ah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot the interval notation. Sorry. Interval notation is parenthesis, phi comma infinity. In this case, bracket seven comma infinity positive and this k is from negative infinity comma six parenthesis parenthesis and this is from negative infinity again comma negative two bracket clear or no that's clear huh okay uh, yes okay okay Okay, so let's five and six case uh, inequality, no? It's doing. But it's only one, no compound. So says, okay, two y, two y plus six less than four. So four y, like equation, two y less than four minus six. Two y less than negative two divided by two divided by two, y is less than negative one. Okay, you select now here, negative one, here, and this is less than, less than is to the left. Uh -huh. Of course, I know that this continues forever to the negative infinity, no? Uh -huh. And here we have parentheses, no bracket. Okay, this is solving. Graph the solution set and write the interval notation. Interval notation, you see, it's important, eh? extremely important. So say is from negative infinity, comma negative one, parenthesis. Okay. Now let's solve number six. It's a little bit not complicated, but it's a little bit long. is three minus four, y plus two, greater than or equal six plus two, y, no, 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 plus two, no, plus four, plus four, plus four, and uh, two y plus one. Let me check if I copy right or I copy wrong. I suppose get right. Okay, so now let's remove the parenthesis. 3 minus 4y minus a greater than or equal 6 plus ay multiplication this guy plus 4. Okay, so remember in any inequality, the variable, the term can contain variable, we put in the left, mandatory to the left. No equation, equation is optional. Inequality is mandatory. So, for example, this negative four stay here. I move eight to the other side. Uh, greater than or equal. So, so I stay six, I stay four. Now I move three, I move eight. Because, okay, we can combine. Uh, doesn't matter the order, no? So now you have uh, here is negative 12. 
Great Languricua, so we have here 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. Finally, divided by negative 12, both sides. Uh -huh. so we are doing two actions. Action number one, well, this is why alone is uh, reduce the lowest term because you know 5 times 3 is 15 and 4 times 3 is 12. At least these three is canceled. It so just stay negative 5 over 4. Negative 5 over 4. And we are doing division by negative number. Therefore, this sign is completely reversed. Uh, 5 over 4 is, you know, is 5 divided by 4. A one, a one, a four, a one, 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 four. Entonces, es, pero es negativo. Entonces, es approximately, using my imagination, es in between, in between negative one, que es here, and negative two. Close to negative one, because es one quarter. And negative one point twenty five, en decimal, ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces, I suppose, suppose, using my imagination, que I take this segment, I split in four parts, it's a half, half here, approximately here. This is the famous negative 504. Uh -huh. Negative 504. So it's, in this case, to the left, no? To the left, to the left. Here. Okay. <coughs> this continues forever in that direction. Negative infinity. And eh, eh, so veo que es bracket. So what is the answer? The answer is from negative infinity in interval notation, comma, negative 5 over 4, bracket. Any question? <coughs> Any question? Come on, guys. This is a review. I'm doing fast because I suppose that you know. It's only practice. Okay, that was an elementary example of the two inequality. Let's, da, let's now co compute compound inequality. So two inequality, separated by or or separated by and. This is the page, next page. What is the next page? Next page is, let's see. Yeah, this one. No. A ver, let me see. A ver, no, 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 no. No. A ver, let me see. That page, no? Yeah. I guess so. That page. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, this is compound. Why is compound? Because it's two inequality. Separate by conjunction, maybe and maybe or. And you need to remember that and is intersection. And a union, and um, or is uh, or is union, and is intersection. What mean intersection? Common element. Uh, what mean union is put together without repetition. So we have two guys. We have, for example, we have uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five here. Here. It's less than. And if it's less than, it's in that direction. Okay. Include. <coughs> include final. The symbolic way to indicate this idea is parentheses. And negative one uh, here. This is zero. This is negative one. And it's greater than, and greater than is, let me use another highlight, is to the right in that direction. Uh -huh. Include a negative one? Yes, of course, include a negative one. Include a negative one. We'll so have bracket here. So the intersection okay, in, in the park, in both interval overlap. So the green and the yellow overlap is so beautiful is this. Okay. Now an in interval notation is bracket negative one comma five. 
paréntesis. Primer intervalo notation es easy because we put two numbers, the, the bound, upper and lower bound, separated by comma, and the bracket o paréntesis is the same idea que include, que indique, que include or no, the input. Okay. Let's do a number two, so you have no question. No question? Compound inequality, guy, important in the test. Okay. Number two. Well, number two is similar. We have two positive, que es here. Uh, greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to is in that direction. Include two, of course, include two. Yeah. Uh, the second is negative three. Negative three, I suppose que es zero, negative one, negative two, negative three es here. Y es to the left. To the left, because it's less than, left, no? Entonces es, let me highlight in yellow, like that. Include no. No incluye, no incluye, no incluye negative 3, no, out. No incluye, no incluye. Wait a second, over there. No incluye, no incluye. And this continues forever in that direction. And this continues forever in that direction. Okay, this is the situation, both inequality and separate. Now, this is a crucial moment. What is the intersection between yellow and green? No. No intersection. They are not como par, like this example. Entonces, now the solution is no solution. Empty set. O no solution. Because we have no common par. Intersection is common. Okay. Let's move on to number three. Number three is two out. Make it soon. Two a here. Three a here. Okay. So it's less than two. That direction. Uh huh. No include two. No parents. And three. Is greater than or equal is in that direction. Okay. Uh -huh. This is bracket here and continue forever in that direction. This is another example that we have no intersection. We have a gap here in the middle, no solution. And this is uh -huh. So to be solution, we need intersection. See, no intersection. Uh -huh. Completely different situation happen in OR. Because OR is union. So it's put together without repetition. So if I, here, look. I don't know what happened. Phi is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, here. It's a phi. And negative one here. Negative one. So the interval is, Less than five is this. Uh -huh. And it's continued forever. And of course, no includes five. And uh, greater than or equal negative one. Mm. Let me see. Negative one is well, yellow. Negative one is here, but in that direction. Okay, does it now is here bracket and continue forever in that direction. But the conjunction is or and or is union. Uh, and union is um, yellow plus green together, no? Does it solve you? Okay, this combination 
cover all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. I don't care que connecting in the middle, no, because it's, when the sun is important, but when it's all, no. You take the green part, the total green part, plus the total yellow part together. To say it's from negative infinity to positive infinity, in all the world, all real numbers. It's the solution for this compound in the world. Do you see that or no? Do you see that or no? Aha, uh -huh. good, good, good. All right, let me check it, check it. Attendance. Alex Manuela, Iso, Santana, Juan Gómez, Eduardo Hernández, Kendry, Samuel, David, David, are you too quiet? I want to hear your voice. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, <laughs> Do you understand very well or no, so far? Yes, so far everything's going great. Okay, Alejandro, Kevin. Angelica, Noel, Brian, Rances, Sherman, and Sydney. Okay, super. Super, super. Let's continue. Review for the test. Remember, what is do the test? Is do this Wednesday, you know? It's uh, 15, no? September 15. And September, uh -huh. and September 15, we start new chapter. This is too fast, guys. This is the, the class is easy, but it's intensive. It's combo, no? This is combo, so it's intensive. Okay, five, negative one, negative one here, look at that, negative one. This is negative one. Uh -huh. And so it's less than or equal, less than or equal is to the left. Okay. Include negative one, of course. And it's continue forever in that direction. And four, four is here. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Four is this. Uh -huh. So now the interval is greater than, is in that direction. Okay. Include four, of course, include four because I saw equal sign. Uh -huh. And this continues forever in that direction. Okay. So it's or. And remember, or is union. And union is put together without repetition. In this case, we have no repetition because obviously these intervals are totally disjoint. But I don't care because it's or. So what is the answer? The answer is from negative infinity, comma negative one. Let me write here. Negative infinity, comma negative one bracket union because it's together for comma positive infinity. The positive infinity is this guy. Okay, clear. Yeah, right. so let's do two more examples of the compound. Let it be more interesting eh? because this is obviously we don't do any algebra. It's just do the last part, which is the graphic part. But in this case, no. In this case, we have two inequality. Uh, let me copy. Five parentheses x minus one. Okay, let me make it so in opposite direction. Zoom out. Entonces, greater than or equal minus 5 or uh -huh, 5 minus 6 less than or equal 10. Okay, you forgot temporarily that this is compound inequality. No, you consider like a two separate inequality. And you solve it separately. You apply distributive property. We have 5x minus 5 greater than or equal minus 5. 5x uh, greater than or equal minus 5 plus 5. Because I move this negative 5 to the right, opposite sign, is 0. Cancel out, is 0. It's 0 and divided by 5. So we get x is greater than or equal 0. And was not necessary reversing the sign because you are divided by positive number. Okay, nice. In this case, well, it's different. I move. Negative x stay here. And my, the, the key of the manipulation is the, the turkey contain variable. You try to stay or bring to the left. And the other can no contain variable. For example, they stay in the right and phi, I move like a minus phi. The minus x is less than what you got positive phi. I leave it like that? No. No, because I need positive x like this. 
You divide by negative one, or multiply by negative one, get the thing. You put x here positive, and it's a negative five, and you reverse it. The inequality. This is the most important moment. Okay, now we have a compound inequality. Remember the conjunction the connecting this is or. And we go to the graph when this condition is x greater than zero. Zero is here. Uh -huh. Greater than zero is to the right. Include zero, yes. How you indicate that? Bracket. This is this. The second is this. Negative five. Wow. And negative five is this is zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Negative five is that point. Yes, to the right. Mm. Okay, it's to the right. It's to the right. It's to the right. So when you highlight in yellow color. Okay. To the right is this one. Mm -hmm. Include a negative, five, of course. Include a negative five bracket here. Uh, in this case, um, you know, something no weird, but something no typical thing happen. It is that the green interval is totally inside the yellow. That the yellow is bigger. So when you connect it by or, okay, or is a union, okay, or is put together, it's obvious, it's obvious that the, the union of the green and yellow is just the yellow only. Because the green, you know, is like uh, absorbed totally by the yellow, no? Uh -huh. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is, uh, the answer is a uh, bracket negative five, comma infinity. Uh -huh. Something happened. It is, it is, it is, uh, well, no, no frequently, but sometimes happen. You have, for example, one big set A, and inside we have a small set B. I want to compute A union B. Uh, a union B is A because B is totally inside this. Okay, this is the idea. Uh -huh. C, well, C, B is not like that. C, B is here. It does well, union is this plus this. And consider the intersection in that part one time. But no, no, no. In this case, B is, uh, B is totally the intersection. This is the case. Be aware for that situation. Okay, no, always happen, but frequently. Could be happening. Okay. Everyone follow me? Answer me. Yes, no. Sum up. Okay, good. Okay. Let's move on to number seven. Number seven is, well, well, well. Oh, let me erase that part. Wow. Okay. But okay. Okay. Number seven is X plus five. Greater than negative two. And four X less than twenty eight. Okay, remember you solve it. Separately, both in equal. Let's do in the first one. The first one is x greater than negative two and negative five. And negative seven. Greater than negative seven. The second is divided by four, not necessarily addition or subtraction. Is x less than seven. Uh, this is greater than. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go to the graphic part. Let's go to the graphic part. No, the graphic part. Let's do it here. No, no, no. No, let's do it here. Is x less than a uh, greater than negative seven? Negative seven is negative seven. 
negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative seven. Here, over there. Less than. And less than is. Oh, greater than, sorry. Is to the right. To the right. Here. Bang. Of course, no include is negative seven. Because I don't see any equal sign here. No. Okay. Now, the second part is less than seven and uh, less than seven is we see seven one two three four five six seven uh -huh. and less than is in the opposite direction no? opposite direction is to the left okay like that Ooh, here until seven include a seven no no Hey, hey, no es, no incluye ser. Ajá, entonces es and, y and means intersection. Entonces es the, 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 the interval in which both eh, inequality overlap. Es obvio que es from negative 7 to positive 7. Ok. Que es de common part, que share both intervals. Ok, no es, who make a noise? Okay. Okay. Do you see? Is clear that page or no? Yes or no? Okay. Let me try the next page. Yes, that's clear. Thank you. Okay. Next page is. Let's see. Wow, wow, wow. We did that, no? Okay, now this. Oh, let me see. Now this. Okay, there's seven. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, super. So it's, it's super easy. It's only one inequality. Well, okay, okay, okay. I try. It's minus 2x minus 5 less than or equal negative 25. This is no compound, it's only single inequality. Okay, easier. Okay, you try to, 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 to solve for x, minus 2x is less than or equal, minus 25 plus 5. Minus 2x, less than or equal, minus 20. Divided by negative 2, both sides. Uh, x, this is 10, and it's a greater than or equal. Uh, to say is, o, o es, es negative 10, o es, es, es positive 10. Es positive 10, right? Mm -hmm. Because negative divided by negative, es positive. But I suppose que 10 here, suppose, suppose, I don't know. To say is in that direction. Include it then, of course, include it in that direction. Expressing in the validation, okay, let's do it. Bracket 10, come infinity post. Uh, always, when you have infinity or negative infinity, you put the parenthesis because remember, infinity is no number that you can touch physically. No. Uh, infinity is a symbol that indicates that this interval continues forever in that direction. Does it not? Never touch, never reach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a little bit we are because contain fraction, but don't worry, be happy. Two third B minus one third B, no, without B. Now, let me see now uh, one third. You see in my paper, but I don't see clear in the, the board. This, too small, greater than one over two b, no, something like that. Okay, there are many ways, many ways to do this. The student can prefer eliminate the fraction. Okay, let's do it. You find the least common denominator. Okay, six. We are from six, three times two. I multiply the equation by six. So you multiply by six. This guy, this guy, and this guy. So the entire equation by six. 
Entonces dice negative 4 b. A ver, why? Why go for 4? Because 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Oh, 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 6 multiplied by 2 is 12 divided by 3 is 4. Ok. Entonces 6 times 1 is 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 6 multiplied by 1 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3b. And the inequality sign stays the same because you are multiplying by positive number. Okay, this is easier. Let me try to manipulate. How? Remember, the verb must be. Therefore, I move everything that contain b to the left. Minus 4b, minus 3b, greater than 2. This is minus 7b, greater than 2. Bar by negative 7, bar by negative 7. And so B is less than, switch, reverse it, because you are divided by a negative number. So it's says uh, negative 2 over 7. So then I have no idea who is 2 over 7. But 2 over 7 is the, is the fraction, no? but I put in my calculator, not like a fraction, you know, like a decimal. You press division, no ABC, like I explained the last day. No, 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 you put this in order to get the decimal approximation. This is approximately minus 0 0.29. You round, you trunk it to two decimal places. Uh -huh. So this is, okay, so I make a zoom. I know that this number is located between 0 and negative 1. Close to 0. Boom, suppose here, hypothetical. Uh -huh. Now is what direction? Left, because it's less than, okay? Let's turn to this number, okay, and this is from negative infinity. Uh -huh. uh, physically touch that number, no, because I don't see equal sign to the parentheses. Okay, this is how you write interval notation. It's from negative infinity, parentheses, negative infinity, comma, comma, this guy gets minus two over seven. Okay, it's approximately 0 0.29 in this. Uh -huh. And in that situation frequently happen when you have a weird fraction. So you don't know very well how we locate in the in the all real number line. No, you convert to the decimal using the calculator. Okay, and maybe we have too much infinite uh, decimal places, but you trunk it, no? And they uh, all round, and you have some idea approximately, you know, roughly, what is the location for this point. Okay. So everyone follow me? Okay, let's move on to the equations. System of equations, substitution, elimination. This is important. Okay. Again, let me try to find the package. This is the package. What page? We are working. We are working. Oh, let me see. Now we did that, no? That page. Okay, super. That page. Okay, it's easier. In this page, what should I do? Well, you solve it, but solve it graphically. Mm. Okay, let me try to bring my rectangular coordinate system because this is too small uh, rectangular coordinate system because this is similar but I can enlarge and move in any position like that okay let's do it equation by equation graphic this is a review for the chapter one okay the first equation is y equal 2x plus 5 I realize que phi is the y and set, I plot that. And the slope is 2, you, you too much, is 2 up, is 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 is here, plus 1. Well, so I try to do my best using the rule to connect in this point. I suppose that you remember very well how you plot the line using Roman rice and you start for the y and set 
Okay. Approximately this. And you know what the disadvantage to solving the system graphically like that? Que is no too much acronym. It's approximation. Okay, super. This is my equation number one. I put a label, equation number one. Equation number two is y equal minus x plus two. Mm, again, y is s two. And it's low and negative one. There's a one down, one to the right. I get the second point. Right, wrong, down. I connect it by the line. And the intersection is the solution. Alf. Let me see. Not yet. Not yet. Oof. Well, no clear. It's not typical. Okay, good. This is a wish. Okay. In my opinion, it's located at the point. At the point, suppose negative one something, negative one point one or two, I don't know exactly. Remember, this is not exact, it's, it's just graphic method, it's approximation. And here in y bar, pa, 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 it's 3.1. 3.1. So, suppose KCA, I'm doing good. In one piece of paper, or in Desmos. Uh, it's three. It's three, three, three point, three point, three point one, I suppose. Uh, we get the answer correct. But it's a cycle. And the test, no. And the test, never. We are doing graphical. We are doing algebraically. Like uh, example two. In the example two, in the example two, uh, we have two equation, uh, let me write here, uh, two x plus y equal two, equation number one, and five x minus three y equal four, equation number two. So, so day one, can you solve it by substitution? But I remember that the professor explained me that substitution is good only when there at least one variable, the coefficient is one or negative one. So I detecting that here, and the y, the coefficient is a positive one. I solve for y in the first equation. So y alone, let me try here. Y alone in the first equation is two minus two x. Let me check it, yeah. And this is pressure now. I substitute, substitute it where in another equation. Another equation is 5x minus 3y. So I replace y for this expression. Of course, it's important to understand that I put the parentheses and you replace no y anymore as 2 minus 2x equal 4. Okay, distribute the property, solution of the linear equation that contains only one unknown. It's x in that case, the phi x minus six plus six x equal four. Uh, we combine like term uh, phi and six together is eleven x. Uh, in the right hand side we have four plus six. Okay. Divided by eleven. Uh, x is equal to 10 over 11. In this case, we cannot simplification more. They are no common factor. In order to find the y value, you substitution in either equation, this or this. However, in my opinion, it's better substitution here because I take advantage the y is isolated, waiting for me. So say it's 2 minus 2 times x, x no. No x, x is 10 over 11 now, the 10 over 11 is a y value. 
Okay, now <clears throat> look, S is there, multiplication fraction. The two you suppose get two over one. Two is a whole number, right? And you multiply two times 10, 20. And one times 11 is 11. Equal Y. Uh huh. Okay, the, the multiplication of the fraction is too easy. You multiply numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. No least common denominator. Least common denominator is now when you need to combine two fractions or fraction a whole number. Least common denominator is all because 11. It's the only guy that we have in the denominator. 11 times 2 is 22. 22 minus 20 equal y. 22 minus 20 is 2 over 11 equal y. Now the solution for this system is 10 over 11 is the x component and 2 over 11 is the y component. Done. Okay. Number three is similar. Number three is similar. Okay, over there. We do two, now three. Uh -huh, number three is similar. Let's do. <coughs> But in this case, in this case, they want using also substitution. Okay, okay. This is not good for substitution because we have no coefficients. Uh, one or negative one. Uh, and so now. To complicate the thing, the problem don't express clear the equation because do not express it in the same order, right? So, say for example, I copy 2x minus 3y equal a. However, the second, I prefer to, to write like that, 3y, 3x plus 2y equal 5. And this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Okay. So I basically, I organize to solve you know, the system, the equation in, in, in a standard, in a standard form, que es, the form is AX plus BY equals C. Actually, no necessarily standard, because standard P, A is positive, in this case negative, I can change, but no necessary. Okay, now what is the strategy for elimination? Well, the strategy, there are many possibilities, you know, depending on the, 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 the variable that you want to eliminate. Suppose, suppose one possibility is multiplication, the equation number one by three, and the equation number two by two. Uh -huh. When you multiply the entire equation number one by three, we have six x minus 9y equal 24. Mm -hmm. And this equation, of course, is equivalent. It's the same number one equation, but when you multiply one equation by one number, the line stays the same. Geometrically, algebraically, is no change. However, when you multiply the second equation by two, we have minus six. This was my intention, ready for elimination. I take advantage, the positive here, and the negative here, multiply by three is six positive, multiply by two is six negative. And you multiply here is plus four y equal 10. This is my equation two now. Now ready for elimination, it's the only difference. This is elimination the x part, this is negative five, and this is 14, 14, 14, 24. R by negative 5. Y is equal to minus 14 over 5. Okay. Now I need to find both components, X and Y. To find X component, you select either equation. The equation that you feel more comfortable. The, the equation that you consider easier. This is totally relative. It's up to you or it's up to me. In my opinion, the easy is the first one. Okay. I take 2x 
minus 3y, but I replace y is negative 14 over 5 equal 8. Okay, let's do a multiplication. Negative and negative is positive. Uh -huh. So say is 14 times 3. I put it in my calculator, of course, because I want to don't make a mistake. 14 times 3 is 42, no? 42. 42 over 5. Equal 8. Okay, now we continue. We solve for x. 2x is equal 8 minus 42 over 5. I move 42 over 5 to the right hand side. Now, this common denominator, fi. 5 times a is 40 minus 42. Uh -huh. 2x is equal 40 minus 42 and negative 2 over 5. Okay, now divided by 2 or either way, multiply by each reciprocal, get one half. One half here, one half here, multiplication. And so because this is x, that was the intention because I, I know that when you multiply any number time, each reciprocal is one, and these two is also cancel out. So it's negative one fifth. Okay, so the solution is the or repair negative one fifth, comma negative 14 over five. Boom. Elimination, elimination. Elimination is important, in my opinion. It's the most important. Method. Elimination. Boom. Okay. What's going on of this line? Okay, let's move on to number. What number is the next? The next is four. Uh, is already organized? Yes, it's already. It's 6x minus 2y equal 3. Equation 1. 2x plus 3y equal negative 5. Okay. What is the strategy? Multiply by, I suppose, the, the best way. I don't know. I multiply the equation number 2 by negative 3, no? Because you multiply negative 3 times 2 and negative 6. You multiply this and this is negative 9. And you multiply this and this is positive 50. And this is my new equation to get ready. Get ready to um, elimination using, of course, the equation 1 and 2, no? And uh, you temporarily, you know, ignore the, the, the original equation okay now this is cancel out this is negative 11 why because negative 2 and negative 9 together and this and this is 18 18 okay divided by negative 11 both sides negative 11 both sides, y alone is negative 18 over 11. Remember the sign, it doesn't matter if it's in the top or in the bottom, and the final answer you put always in the front. To get the x component, I need to select, selection, make a selection. What equation you consider better, or you consider easier, in my opinion, number two original. So 2x plus 3y and y is negative 11, negative 18 over 11, equal negative 5. Okay, now multiplication. 2x and minus, because plus times minus and negative. So say put in my calculator 18 times 3 is 54. 54 over 11 equal minus 5. Okay, so for x, 2x is equal minus 5 plus 54 over 11. Okay, now at least common denominator is 11. 11 times 5 is negative 55 plus 54. 
to x is equal to uh, network over uh, 11. Uh, leave it like that, no, 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 I need to remove the two. How you divide it by two, but this is not comfortable doing by divisions, you know, reciprocal is much better, in my opinion, no? So says x alone is equal to minus 1 over 22, because 11 times 2 is 22, and negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And the solution is the whole pair, uh, negative 1 over 22, comma, negative 18 over 11. I suppose that this package, the professor can do in this package, uh, want uh, a student practice a little bit fractions. Ah. And do, don't expect that the answer is nice. No? It's a whole number always, you know. Okay, that was number four, no? Yes, number four, number four. Everyone follow me? Remember, this is not the unique way to do this problem. Another student saw different strategy uh -huh, and we can do it in different way. Uh -huh. um, the beauty of this is that the independent of the way that you apply, the answer is the same. Okay, <clears throat> number five. Number five is, let me organize this system because it's totally crazy. You take the first equation, that's 2x equals 7 minus a y, not good. You copy 2x plus a y equals 7. Nice, standard. The second, mm -mm, well, almost, it's a standard. Now the interchange, 3x plus 7y equals 9. Okay, you know, the the advantage to write like that because we have one column of the x this column is x this column is the y and this column is the right hand side number and that way it's crazy not impossible oh, no it's possible but no no too hard now it's more clear okay this is the tragedy there are many ways however in my opinion the best way is Equation number one, you multiply by, 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 by three, maybe, by negative three. And the equation number two is by two. Remember, the idea is same number, key idea for the elimination is we need to create artificially the same number and opposite sign. And when you multiply the equation one by negative three, we have minus six minus twenty-four y equal minus twenty-one. Okay, this is my new equation one. Okay, by the way, it's equivalent to the original. When you multiply the second equation by two, we have six x. This was the intention, ready for elimination. That part, you know. This is fourteen, pero positive fourteen. And here we have 18, no? 18. It's equation number two. Now ready. Cancel out. This and this together is minus 10y. This and this together is minus 3, no? Minus 3. Yes. Divided by negative 10. Y value is 3 over 10. So positive. Okay. If you want to find the x component, of the solution point. I need to take one equation. I need to make decisions. Well, in my opinion, the first one is easier. Copy 2x plus 8 times 3 over 10 is equal to 7. The multiplication is 2x plus 24 over 10, 8 times 3. Suppose que a is a whole number, so the denominator is 1, and 1 times 10 is 10. Uh -huh. And we can simplify a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we can, because 24 and 10 are even number. And we can simplify a this 12 and this is 5. One possibility is do this simplification first. Okay, look, I can see this. Look, I can see this. A and 10 are even. Okay, you divide by 2 is 4, and you divide by 2 is 5. 
and four times three is twelve. It's exactly the same idea. I prefer, I prefer to avoid big numbers. I prefer simplification when it's possible, no? Uh, before the multiplication. Now you have to, so far two x plus twelve over five equals seven. Two x is equal seven minus twelve over five subtraction. Two x is equal. Least common denominator five. And five times seven thirty five. And thirty five minus twelve because this is one. Thirty five. I put in my calculator just in case. 35 minus 12 is 23. Okay, now 23, 23, so 2x is equal to 23 over 5. Okay, now remember, well, you can divide, but it's no, much better multiplication by reciprocal. Right? One half, one half. x is equal to 23 over 10. Because 5 times 2 is 10. Uh -huh. One possibility is look, it look like complicated is look. And this step, okay, you have 2x equal 23 over 10, you divide by 2. And you have x equal, but so we have fraction here, 23. And so I need to remember that okay, when you divide one fraction divided by, in this case, a whole number, but another fraction, you flip it, you convert division problem to multiplication problem and you find the reciprocal one half and we get exact a uh, one half no uh, sorry sorry this is five Carajo. this is five in our original problem and say five and those we have the same answer right i don't know what is better for you See division and flip it or multiplication by reciprocal is the same. This is the answer for that problem is 23 over 10, comma 3 over 10. Oof. Too much manipulation of the of the fraction. Guy, do you follow me? Honestly? Yes or no? Answer me. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next page. Next page is nine. Seven and nine. Let me see. Six. Let me see. I'm confused. Okay, let me try. Okay, okay. I suppose. Okay, it's this page. I suppose. Yeah. No, no, no. It's this page. I mean, we did that. We did that way. This is this page. Mm. Okay. But, psh, hello. Let me erase everything. Okay, selection again the document. Okay, this document. Is this BC? Now we did our page. Okay. Hello. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now this. Bang. I guess so. Okay. 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 But in this case, they want graphically. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, the system is 2x plus 4y equal 8 x equal 3 minus 2 y let's do it by curiosity let's do an elimination uh, or substitution in that case because i take advantage that x is already isolated therefore i 
substitution this expression here. So I write two parentheses, three minus two y. Log for y equal eight. Uh-huh. Distributing now six minus four y plus four y. Wow, equal a. Look at that. This is cancel out, and you get completely contradiction. What mean that? What mean that? When a situation happens, what means that? Hey, answer me. You try to solve it. You cannot. There's no solution. Exactly. No solution. Entonces, now, si es no solution, what do you consider que es de the the relative position for the line when I do graphically. So when I try to do graphically, what do you consider against the situation of the line? What is the position? What is the yeah, classification? Yeah, yeah. One if there's no solution. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, when there's no solution, how behave the line? Perpendicular, parallel? Oh, the uh -huh. parallel. Exactly, it's a parallel. This is the only possibility that we have no common point because this line never touch, never meet. Okay? Uh, let's do it, let's do it. Curiosity, let's do it. Okay, I take, I take, I take the first equation. Yeah, I propose, propose, propose doing no by wrong and right tradition. What if we can, of course. However, let's do it by the table x, y, x, y, in which you put zero here and zero here. Zero and x, it's obvious that y is two. This is the y in a set. And zero and y, it's obvious that x is four. A four comma two. I plot the both point. No, sorry, 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 wrong. This is this on the y axis, 0, 2, and 4, is here. Okay. Now I do the graph of this line. No, not yet. Little bit. Okay, good. This is the graph of the first line. This one, this one, and the second, the second is weird. It's x equal three minus two y. No, no, I don't like this. So for y, to put in a knowing a standard, putting a slow in a set form. Okay, so I propose move, 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 move to y to the left, like a positive two y. You move x to the right like a minus x. You move, move no, stay three here. And divide by three, two, divide by two, and divide by two. And the equation is y equal negative one half x plus three half. Okay, so b is three half. Three half is 1.5, 1.5 is supposed to be here, over there. And the slow is negative one half. And negative one half is one down and two, one, two to the right. Okay, it's so beautiful when you're connecting this point. Okay, look at that, look at that. It's parallel line. And the confirmation, okay, we have no solution. Okay, this is the second. They are parallel. 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 Putting off the microphone. Putting off the microphone, please. Ren, who has the microphone open? I don't see. Okay. Do you follow me? Okay, number seven. Number seven. 
Let's go to number seven. Number seven. Number seven is similar. Number seven is similar. Look. Okay, number seven is similar. Okay, is okay, let's do it. Two X. Chewy. Two X. Plus 4y equal 8. x plus 2y equal 4. Equation 1, equation 2. Uh -huh. Let's do an elimination. Let's do an elimination. Elimination, you multiply the equation number 2 by negative 2. Because when you multiply the entire equation by negative 2, you have negative 2x minus 4y equal minus 8. And this is my new equation. Two. And when you put together equation one and equation new two, new, you see that they are, wow, look at that. Cancel out that part, cancel out that part, cancel out that part, and we get zero equals to zero. Okay, this is true statement. What means that? What means that? What means that? Answer me. Answer me. The answer is zero. What is the answer? It's zero equals to zero. So it's a diagonal line across the center of the graph. No, no, no but my question was, what is the answer? We have no solution. We have one solution. One solution. No. What is the solution? Zero. Infinitely many solutions. Exactly. Exactly. OK, I repeat the last time. When you solve the system, you try to do your best. But we cannot isolate the variable. And suddenly the variable disappear. Wow. No variable anymore. And we get true statement. 0 equals 0, 5 equals 5, 20 equals 20. The meaning is infinity many solution. Let me show you. Let me show you in another way. Uh -huh. However, in the previous example, when you cannot solve it and you get contradiction, it's 20 equals 30, stupid thing. It's obvious that we have no solution, but in this case, yes, we have infinity many solutions. Another way to see the problem. Look, 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 look. Look at that. Okay, another way to see the problem is look. Okay, look. Uh, suppose that you take the first equation. Yeah, I want to do the graph, but it's not necessary to do it. I want to prove why not. And you so, suppose that you isolate the y. 4y equal minus 2x plus 8. Divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4. Y is equal to negative 1 half when you reduce the lower term here, x plus 2. Okay, no problem. Now let's do it in the second. The second is x plus 2y equal 4. So for y again, 2y is equal to minus x plus 4. Divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, y alone is equal to negative 1 half, x plus 2. Do you see that they are identical? That means that this line, when you're doing the graph, but I don't want to do it. This is a line of this. And this is a line of this. Same line. We have infinity many solutions. Any point on this line is a solution. How you write that? Well, it's easy. There are many ways to do. Many ways. One possibility is using self building notation. This is the old pair, x, y, such that satisfy this equation or this equation. You copy this equation or this equation, or you copy this equation. I don't know why I prefer copy that. y is equal to negative one half, x plus two. Because you declare a, Okay, y is dependent variable and x is totally independent. Is organic. There are no restrictions. However, y yes, y is connected by x using this equation. No? 
Ok, do you understand the infinity many solution? Ok, number A is a whole problem. I want to skip that. Because I want to pay my attention in the most important part, que es the inequality, no? Graphic inequality. Uh -huh. the, this is important, but no, no, no. You know, in the test, I don't put wall problem. Uh -huh. We have no time. Okay, uh, let me try next page. Let me see what the next page in the, this document. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Inequality now. Inequality, 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 inequality. A ver, let me see. Es one, two, three. Okay, this one is bueno. This page. Boom. Okay, and this we make a review. How you represent inequality in two dimensions. You represent inequality in two dimensions. Okay. Remember, it's easy. It's easy, but you need to do step by step. Okay, look. Let's do it in the first one. The first one is y. Y less than or equal to x plus 3. I consider temporary this like equation. Yeah, I am very strong doing the, the equation, uh, the graph of the line. The y in the 3, I plus this point, and it's low is 2, 2 up and 1. I get the second point, rise is 2 positive up and wrong as well. Uh, now we connect it. This point by the line. By the way, this line is solid. Uh, this is symbolic way, similar to the bracket and parenthesis. But bracket and parenthesis is in one dimension, and this is another symbolic way in two dimension. And solid line indicate us que the line belong to the solution. Let me use in another color. Okay, you are blue a solid line. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, what is, the, what, is the, what is the the region? Because you split the plane into semi-plane. So I have two possibilities, 50-50, you no? Know? Or it's above or it's below. Entonces, according to this sign, if y is isolated, so it's below. So the solution is this. Okay. Entire region. A semi plane. Infinity point. So any point. Any point inside this region, a solution. Yes. Any point outside this? No. This is the idea. Okay, this is super, super easy. You are doing the line. Let's do an example two. Mm -mm. In the example two, we have no equal sign. So we need to use a dotted line, no solid line. Let me try. Oh, good. Okay, solid, solid. So says, okay, listen, listen. The second example is y plus 2x greater than 5. Okay, so for y, y greater than minus 2x plus 5. Uh, entonces, the line is in 5. In 5 here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here is the y in the set. And it's low as 2, so it's 2 down. 5 minus 2 is 3, 1 to the right. Uh, we get the second point. Okay, now I am doing the line, connecting this point. It's low and negative. That is the reason that my graph is going down. Okay, uh -huh, good. Um, again, green color, but now important thing, dotted line, boom, 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 boom. Look at that. That's me, okay, the boundary okay, connecting this semi-plane do not belong to the solution. And what part you shape? I shape above. The line. 
Okay, this is a crucial moment to summarize everything. Look, that symbol is above. And this symbol also is dotted line. This symbol is also above, but a solid line. This symbol is below and dotted line because I have no equal. This symbol is also below, but the solid line. Clear? Clear? Let's practice. Three and four. Come on. Let's practice. Three and four. Boom. Okay. Okay. Three is two x minus ten. Greater than or equal minus two. Ooh, 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 this is weird. Why is weird? Because why is missing? I, I know that when the y is missing, it's because it's a vertical line. Well, no, actually, it's not vertical line. Well, the line, the relative line can help me to split the plane is vertical. And this is what should I do? Well, you saw four x. It says two uh, x is greater than or equal minus two plus ten. 2x is greater than or equal 8. Bar by 2, bar by 2, x is greater than or equal 8. 4, sorry. Because 8 divided by 2 is 4. Uh -huh. Entonces, the equation is x equal 4. And x equal 4 is vertical line, passing through. Passing through 4. Like that. Look, look, look. 90 degree. 90 degree. 90 degree exactly where? And four. Here, over there. Let me use in the green color. And this is solid line. How do you know it's solid? Well, because it's equal. Include this. Uh -huh. And so this is no above, below, because it's vertical. It's right or left. It's similar. Uh -huh. In this case, it's to the right because it's greater than. Greater than right. So you highlight basically that part. This is the solution. Super. And this continue forever, no? Yeah. Okay. That was number four. Do you follow me? Number, number, let's do it in the same graph, number three. Let me see, make it soon. Number four. Number four is similar, but completely opposite. Is, you know, the equation is minus three y plus one greater than 10. Uh -huh. Entonces, x is missing, so I, I immediately, I suppose que es horizontal line. Okay, let me manipulate minus three y is greater than 10, minus one que nine, minus three y greater than positive nine, divided by a negative three both sides. Uh -huh. Be careful, guy. Remember, we are working with the inequality. Inequality, when you divide by negative numbers, shish, immediately reverse this sign. Minus three. It's a horizontal. Horizontal, so the line associated with this, related, is minus three. And by the way, this line is dotted line, because I don't see equal sign in my inequality. Entonces es horizontal, horizontal es zero degree, passing through negative three, zero degree, there you go, negative three es negative one, negative two, negative three, here, let me continue using green color, pero es dotted line. Now, okay, now 
Ahí llegó a par. Below o above. Es obvio que below, porque eso es la está. Ok, this is the solution. The solution is the upper. Any question? Okay, any question? No? Okay, let me see if we have or no more example of this. Yeah, we have system. Five and six and that's it. I don't know, there are more, but I don't know, we have no time. Okay, let's do in five and six and that's it. Uh, let me ask you something. Uh, this class, you, you see easy or, or complicated? Uh -huh. Answer me. How do you feel this class? Easy or complicated? In class, In class the professor explains that it, it seems very easy, easy, but sometimes when you sit down to do it, it gets a little bit easy. I want to uh, warning you the next chapter, next chapter, chapter three is a little bit complicated and, and uh, important for taking college algebra in the future. To say now, I need to be aware for that new situation. Chapter three is, is the crucial chapter. So you pass the chat, the, the test number three, you get the, you pass the class. Because four and five is easy. Four and five is easy. And final is super easy. The chapter three is crucial. Okay, let me erase the board. Okay, let me try to find That's the last. I appreciate your honesty. Most professors do not look, talk out that way. It's very admirable. Ah, uh, well, okay. Okay, okay. Now, 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 five and six. No, five and six. Five and six of this. Yes. Boom. 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 Look at that. This is the system. And this is two inequalities. So we're doing exactly the same, but. Uh, well, in this case, sometimes it's and and sometimes it's or. And my test never or, but okay, okay, okay. Let's do it in both. Remember the same idea. So basically, guy, focus. It's the last part, I promise. When I finish five and six, stop. No more. Uh, well, let's do it step by step. Now we are doing the graph of the first inequality. I want to copy here. Look, is 2x plus y less than 5. Uh, yeah, I forgot the second, no, for a moment. If you are doing the graph, mm -hmm. either way, you saw for y, for example, y uh, is less than, I moved minus 2x plus 5. Okay. You copy the related equation because for me it's more comfortable to understand okay i do in the graph five five is here one two three four five is a wide set here and the slow is negative two this is going down two unit a three and one i get the second point super and we connect in both point by the line but what kind of line i use using solid or using dotted Using solid or using dotted? Answer me. Activate the microphone or using the chat. Got it. Got it. Why? Because it um, doesn't have the equal. Exactly. This is the answer. Because there's no equal. We have no equal in our problem. Dotted line. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Okay. I did a line. This line. Now I need to represent the equation. I shape. What part I shape? Below or above the line? What part? What semi-plane? Below oh. the line. Below. Why below? What is the reason get below? Because it's less than. Exactly. Because it's less than. I shape that part. You know, Professor, it's very cool on Alex. If you fill in the first Yes. Are correctly, it takes you through the rest of the equation. It figures it out for you. 
Uh -huh. I, I know. Okay, and I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> okay, now let's doing. I I finish the first inequality. Now I go moving on to the second one. The second one is. Y e minus three X left hand one. Wow, we are. Uh -huh. You saw for Y. The Y less than three X positive plus one. The equation related is this. I know the, the Y and the one here. Boom. And the slow is three, three up okay, because it's positive. So it says one plus three is four here and one. Okay, I get the second point. Now, what kind? Again, dotted, right? Again. Let me yes. use it. Yeah, let me use a yellow color for the second inequality. Okay, let's pull down. Chua. Okay, good. Let me make a zoom. No. Yeah. Again, dollar, right? But I use a yellow color. To understand that is the second inequality. Okay, good. Now I shape. Uh, and what direction I shape? Below or above? Below or above? Below. Below. Below this. Uh -huh. Okay, let me explain something because sometimes in Alex is confusing. So basically, we have to line chung chung. And we have one, two, three, and four possibility. Right? Uh -huh. Entonces, now it's obvious that, como es an, es the intersection, es the common, that the part, que the yellow line and the green line. Overlap is this. So in this case, is is is. Let me use another color, no? To the final answer, gray color maybe. That one. But actually, we have four possibilities. In this case, it was this. Uh -huh, because it was below below. Below below is south, no? Above above is north. I suppose. Uh, uh, below um, and above, maybe it's east or west. And we have four possibilities only. Okay, so this is my final answer. My final answer, of course, is a uh, graphical in this example. And that's it. You follow me? Let's do it one more. Number six, okay? use it or or it's a little bit different. I suppose in the test I don't put or. But okay. Why not? Because I understand very well what is or, no? Okay, let me try or. And this is the last one, no? Because the time is over. No? Auf. Okay. Okay. She. Wow. Let me see here. Bang. Good. I like this tool. Bang. Okay. This is X. Okay. X. Let's do it quick, quickly. Greater than 2 or uh, 2 minus Y less than or equal X. Okay. This is a vertical line passing through 2. 90 degree. 90 degree. Uh -huh. To 2. Of course, solid because include equal. Uh huh. And you shape to the right because it's greater. Than. This is this guy. This guy is not obvious because you need to solve for y. So the minus y is less than or equal x minus two. Divided by negative one because I need always positive y, no negative y, y 
Uh, again, the stupid thing, okay, I need to remember that you need to reverse this. This is minus x plus 2. The related equation is minus x plus 2. The 2 is y in a set here. And it's low as negative 1. It's a 1 down, 1 right. It's the second point. Okay, we're connecting then 45 degree, 45 degree. Forty-five degree. Forty-five, forty-five, forty-four, no, forty-five. Excellent. Forty-five degree, I use in green color. It's solid again, no? Because it's equal, look at that. Uh-huh. And, 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 I say, be careful because in... During the process, I need to divide by negative one to say I, I change this sign to say it's, it's obvious okay, it's, uh, above the line. It's above. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now what is the difference? The difference between or and an is a classical idea. This is intersection, exactly the same we are doing in the previous problem. But in or, no, in or is you do. So it's basically, what is the final answer? The, one, the final answer, professor, is the, let me use another color, maybe blue, is the green plus the gray together. Something like that. Because it's or, the or is union. You put together and the common part above or like I don't care is considered inside the game. So that part and that part. Okay. Okay. So remember, I remember, I remember. Wait, the way, wait, wait a second. I stop sharing. Do you want Casey? You see my face now? Stop sharing. You see my face? Listen. Uh huh. Uh, important, 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 important. This Wednesday, you have to submit uh, the test number two online and Alex. Remember, the homework is totally optional, but it's extra point, 10. And also, send me by email the electronic copy for your answer and the test two on paper. Correct? Clear? Super clear? Super clear. Okay, so I love you so much. Bye bye. Thank you, Professor. Bye bye. You're very easy bye. to understand. Have a great day. You too.